scene. A tiny and cramped and overflowing second floor bookstore somewhere in the city after 1990, but before 2000. Butch enters the bookstore. A tiny bell attached to the door rings. He looks around and starts down one of the crowded aisles. Lila silently enters from her office and walks up behind Butch. Son, don't move. You got some kind of crit in your hair. She claps him on the back of his head. Jesus, you old bat. Oh, I think I pissed my pants. You know, in all my years, I ain't sure I saw anybody move as quite as quick as you just did. Well, you'd have moved quick too if some old witch had a crept out of the woodwork and set your bowels to rotating and then smacked you on the ear. I expect them quick kind of reactions are real asset in your line of work. My line of work is none of your damn business. Of course it ain't. You just let me know if I can help you find anything while you're here. Wait. You trying to tell me you run this place? I am the proprietress. You? You're the cook. Eh, book cook cooks books. You seem a mite surprise, son. Yeah, well, nobody told me you was a hag. Son, outside the glow I'm feeling basking in your flattery, I'm also feeling compelled to inform you that this ain't no 007 flick. The real world's got real people in it. If you come here for help, what you see is what you get. Besides... You ain't exactly a Sean Connery. Yeah, I never hit my wife. Don't lie to me, son. That ain't a lie. I expect you're right. Can't very well hit somebody don't exist. Oh, now you're Sherlock Holmes. Do you have a wife? No. Is there something in particular you're seeking today, son? Or did you just drop in for some witty banter? Yeah, I uh, just... Well, I wanted to see what you got. Uh, so you got any kind of system here? Yes. Oh, come on. I was just kidding calling you a hag. You ain't gonna hold that against me. Some women think it's a compliment. All right. I'm just kind of looking for a, you know, general purpose book. Begin a book. No, no. No, not beginner. I, I mean, I, I've done this before. I just, I just want something with a lot of different methods. You know, expand my options. Uh huh. Well, I ain't want to recommend a general purpose book. I can't even bring myself to carry them. I find the information is uh, far too general. You could end up hurting oneself. I can live with myself if it should happen. I recommend you choose a method and become the master of it. Jesus, lady, I didn't come here for a lecture. I just need a book. Perhaps you should try the Strand. All right, all right. Since you got my balls in a bind here and you're enjoying it. If you're not careful, you're likely to get another wallop. Well, what do you want? Need a bag? What would you recommend? I ain't a mind reader, son. The method you choose depends entirely on the circumstances under which you are operating. Okay, fine. You got anything good on knifing? Rather gruesome. I wouldn't fear you to be, be able to stomach that. Hey, what do I look like? Some kind of wuss? Knifing takes a lot of intestinal fortitude. My balls are as big as the next guy's. Mm-hmm. I always thought that murder should contain a, an element of poetry. Victim and mean should meet and marry tango to the climax. Yeah. The one, two, three is a knife in a section of non-traditional dirks. This is it? You got 17,000 books on killing in here and you offer me a pamphlet? I mean, Jesus, you, you got a stinking encyclopedia here on strangulation. That has some lovely illustrations, not cheap drawings like a lot of these books. Listen, I don't have a lifetime to spend here and I'm not in the mood for small talk with a cretin. So I would appreciate you just showing me the best books you have. Ain't nothing stopping you. There they are. Fine. Now some of these books you got here are totally outdated. Why hang on to them? I mean, for Christ's sake, who the hell needs improvised weapons of the underground? You know, you can buy a semi-automatic for 20 bucks on the corner. You know, I thought you would be a little more helpful. All the guys said they came to you when they got their first job. You're a maid. 
Only at this level. Who's your target, son? Don't know. I believe I warned you about Fibbin. I swear. You won't tell me. Some need to know, not time yet crap. Who sent you here, boy? The students. Oh, Lord, no wonder you don't know nothing. You ever notice how pinched Uncle Sam's lips are? Well, it's the only place you make mourn with the mob. I'm always so happy to see my tax dollars at work. It's better than paying two C's for a hammer. Mm, they must have given you some information. Got it all except name and place. All the keys but two. What made you choose Nathan? Target some old broad, figured I could overpower her. Touch on the graceless side, ain't ya? They ain't paying me for style. To be valued, you must be an artist. Jack the Ripper, the Credit Borgia, Henry VIII, the Beggar's Clan. Beauty commands a higher price and efficiency. No. Really? Oof. What do you recommend? What else do you know? Nothing, I, I guess. How'd you get in this business with such a dim bulb? Hey, you know I could take you out. Son. This old woman you got a pinch. What's she done to rattle Uncle Sam? She's some sort of information broker. She's been around about two centuries. Mm, she is old. Probably her time to clear out anyway. Skimpy reason. No, oh, she's just a pain in their ass and they can afford to take her out. Bureaucrats are bat turds. How come they picked you for this job? None of the regulars would take it. Why not? She knows everybody. They know her. What's your code, son? The butcher. Ain't that a pip? Explains the knife and I guess. Self-titled, I presume. Yeah, but you know there ain't that many good titles left. Listen, um, butch. Did the notion that this ain't a job for the faint of heart ever flit through your noggin? The others ain't doing it for a reason. Boss said she's friends with some of the boys, so it fell to me. I'm not a bad choice. You know, strong, smart. I think I can handle some old bat. You said the student sent you. He know the mock. Well, he said he knows her. He's so damn tight though. Couldn't get anything out of him except he was really insistent that I come here for help after he heard that I took the job. He's a funny guy. He usually won't give a guy a break. Sent me here though. Said you was the best. Said you know, everything would work out if I come here to see you. Mm -mm. You ever read this? The Art of the Assassin. So to make the game a little more fair, I would start by perusing this. I ain't actually that interested in fair, but what makes this one so good? I say the best chapter is on the ethics of assassination. There's no ethics. You kill, you get paid. A lot. You must be getting soft, you old bat. These are the 90s. I mean, nobody on the planet gives a shit about ethics. You sound like one of those old boars talks about fighting for a cause. Money's the only thing worth fighting for. I don't know, son. I ain't saying it's always so, but sometimes an idea is worth more than a buck. Yikes. I know it ain't a popular notion with young folks like you, but I can remember when my heart skipped to be whenever I set eyes on a sweetie fighting for a cause. I bet sex isn't as good as nowadays as it was back then. What the hell are you talking about? Jesus, you're giving me the shivers. What else do you know? About what? The mark. Besides knifing, you got any other ideas? I gotta ask you something. Why the hell do you have a book on wellness? I was trying to branch out. Did it work? Nah, but there's some good tips on poisoning them herbal wellness books. Ain't just one way to skin a cat. You're a trip. Okay, so you don't like knife play. What else? Trauma like yourself should be a little more creative. Fresh out of creative, what are other options? I gotta admit to a fondness for uh, booby traps. Gives the mark a sporting chance. I don't care if she has a sporting chance. I suppose not, but I ain't so sure about them that's watching. The bell on the door rings and says it enters. Excuse me. Yes, dear, how can I help you? 
I noticed your sign outside and I was wondering what kind of books you sell. What are you looking for, dear? Well, actually, I hoped by your sign that you had, you know, how to kill books. What do you have, like cookbooks or something? Definitely the former, although some include the latter. Definitely the former. Really cool. Mm-hmm. Well, I had this idea and maybe you could help me. Go on, dear. First, I, I gotta know, is your name really May? No, dear. One of those fake kind of stage names, huh? Like Natalie Attired or whatever. You're a touch young to remember her, ain't ya? My parents are old. Anyway, you got anything in here on, you know, like bomb building? Of course we do, dear. Is there something specific you're looking for? Well, I don't actually want to kill somebody. Jesus. I just, I don't know. I just, I kind of want to, uh, I don't know, you know. Sounds to me like you're looking for some justice. Ain't that it, dear? I mean, I moved into Wash Heights like last year and I must be some kind of asshole magnet, you know, because every time I, ugh, I don't know. Never mind. I just kind of want to build like a small bomb. I was thinking of like putting it in a briefcase and then, you know, I'm um, filling it with a dog shit. You know, the stuff you step in every four minutes and maybe just a little human or whatever. It could be either, you know, whatever I can find on the street. I have little tell me that I think will do just the trick. Cool. Tell me, dear. How will you get the device in the hands of your tormentors? I was just going to leave it in my car. Clever. Here we are. The bomb in a briefcase for the Patriot on the go. Wow, that sounds perfect. The explosive is activated by opening. I think that if you cut the recipe some, you ain't likely to have any problems achieving your objective. Oh man, this is like a dream come true. You're the best. The book's not more than five bucks, is it? I mean, because that's all they gave me next door, you know, so I could get home. It comes to $4.80. I could hold it for you till you're a little more liquid, dear. I'll just dump the turnstiles again. I think I figured out how to not get caught. Like, you just can't do it in front of a cop. All right, dear. If you fill out this comic card while I wrap this up, I'll add you to my mailing list. Oh, yeah? What do you have? Like, sales and stuff? Periodically, we like to clear out some of our overstocked items. I feel like I just entered the fucking Twilight Zone. Do enjoy your book, dear, and let me know how it goes. Hey, thanks. See you later, and I'll be back. I thought she was lovely. Such a sweet smile and the soul of a poet. You could do a lot worse than a girl like that. She's a kook. Are you nuts? You shouldn't even be helping somebody like that. Son. Sometimes it makes me chuckle. I think back to when I started, it seemed like the whole world was filled with dreamers, just like that girl. Everyone, them's the folks I set up shop to help. Somehow though, the dreams died away and I was left helping the likes of you. Heartless, soulless bastards hiding behind goofy no code names in the flag. Ah, oh, hell, the living. Where were we? You were giving me pointers on how to plug an old bat? I should think if it were me that a little game of um, cat and mouse might be fun. Yeah, I could just shove her over and kick her to death. Maybe I could run her over with a car, or drop something heavy on her from above. How tall? Well, I don't remember, but I read somewhere that if you dropped a penny off a real tall building, you could kill somebody. Hmm. Details are the backbone of a successful assassin. You ain't likely to last another hour if you don't start concentrating on the details. Let's start by listing everything you know about your mock. Come on. Age? I don't know, maybe 60-something? 60, 60 what, boy? What are the details? I wrote them down. Then read them to me. She's 66, female, five foot four, 140 pounds. She's an information broker, no known allegiances. Don't sound like anybody you'd care for too much. What else? She's a master of all known forms of self-disguise and assassination, self-defense and assassination. She is a master of disguise, a chameleon of sorts, birth and nationality are unknown. 
She ain't likely to let you kill her with a knife. Well, she's old. I figure I can take her. She's a master of self-defense. Do you know why it doesn't matter how many floors you drop Penny from? I'm sure at this juncture you're going to tell me. Because you ain't never going to hit your mark. Too many elements out of your control, it'd be like... Well, geez, I just thought it was a kind of interesting fact. You know, I, I didn't expect to ever use it. However, I do see your point about the knifing. Where brute force fails, finesse takes over. Well, the thing is, I ain't really got much finesse. You know, I kind of always rely on brute force. Uh huh. You know what I would do? I would investigate my options in a uh, poison. Yeah. Spend a little time getting to know the mock. If you ain't good at creating an accidental meeting, I'm sure someone could arrange one. And you just got to gain a trust. Once you do that, you got a free access slipper, a little uh, something. You think I could? Well, that's a perfect plan. I mean, you got a good book on poisoning? I think I do. Hmm. Here we are. A poison for every occasion. This should do. It describes how the poison works, what to mix it with for maximum effect, and how to master the flavor. That's good. I'll take that one. Now, you got anything on how to charm old ladies? I think I could be some help to you there. Why don't we sit down to a cup of tea and talk about your options? Oh, I don't want to put you in any trouble, and you should probably start studying this right away. It comes in 9.98 with tax. Here's a 10. Keep the pennies, I got no use for them. Sit down, son. It ain't no trouble to make a cup of tea. I got one of those always hot water dispensers. Should I fill out the comment card? I kind of like to be on the mailing list. Oh, of course, dear, it completely slipped my mind. Would you like anything in your tea? No, nothing, I'd take it straight. Here you go, sit down, son. This tea is real good. What's in it has an interesting flavor. I'm glad you like it, son. It's just a little herbal mix of I added for the occasion, like bergamot and Earl Grey, only I never liked Earl Grey. Now let's see. Did your boss tell you anything else about your mom? 